All right, hi everyone. In this short video, I'm gonna show the concept of a field alias. So what's a field alias? A field alias is a way to call a field in your database with a user-friendly name or an API-friendly name instead of using the raw, uh, unedited version of the field name that's just in the database. So the classic scenario here is uh, you have a database that has a bunch of caps, tons of underscores, maybe you know 100 plus character field names, which is extremely unwieldy and you never wanna you know, have these long API uh, URLs to call your fields. So what you can do is just replace those long, cumbersome field names with an alias, we call it. And I'll show with a simple example. So here we've got this transactions table and we've got uh, pretty, you know, nice names here, but imagine that they're not nice. So maybe we wanna change just for brevity. We don't want this to be called zip code. We want it to just be called zip or something like that to make our, our API really clean and, and short and succinct. And the way you do that is just to go in here and select your database. Again, remember you're, you will have your schema in here by either having imported it uh, or you've created it. And so you have all of the default field names so you can just navigate into any of the fields that you want and you'll notice that the alias field here is blank. So you can just change it. So if that were really long name like zip code with you know something more dense than that, you could just change it to zip and save it and that's all there is to it. And the only important thing to remember in the API docs is that if you try to call the API with the original field name, the raw field name, it will fail. So make sure to use the alias. The way you can see that is if you do, let's say we'll do a get on our transaction table. And like if we put in, uh, whoops, zip underscore code, that's the original field name, we'll probably get an error, which you'll see. And let me see if I can type this transaction and try that out. Indeed, you get an invalid field requested zip code, but of course, just use the alias. So go back here, make sure you typed it in right, but here we're gonna use zip and the alias will be used and just replace, let me try it out here. So you'll see the request URL, API v2 MySQL table transaction is our table name and the field we wanted was the alias called zip and that will return the zip code. So very simple, that's all there is to it. You can set up as many aliases as you want. You can use aliases on any field type, including virtual fields, which we talk about in some other screencasts as well. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, check out our other screencasts on YouTube, our YouTube channel. Check out our research on our website, www.dreamfactor.com. Thanks.